Hey guys, welcome back to Knowledge Life SolidWorks complete tutorial series. In this video, we are going to talk about one of the most important feature called wrap. Generally, the purpose of wrap to project a sketch without any distortions around the surface. And you can cut the materials, you can add materials, you can create scratch, and you can do these operations on the planar surface. Cylindrical surface, conical surface, any extruded surface. In simple words, I will try to give an example. In college days, you used to do some workshop like forging shops, maybe machine shops, fitting shops. So there you used to create some job. So in that job, you used to punch your uh, roll number something else. So such kind of operation you can perform here by using the wrap operation. Generally there we have used mainly deboss punch here you can do anything emboss deboss scribe so first let's open a part here suppose this is my work page and i want to write something on this page so you can just directly take a sketch over there itself or if you want to project you can project also so i will just give an example here with the basics so here I want to type something so I, I need to take a sketch actually already I have explained how to take a sketch here so make it normal to the plane and I will just type there one line there like this so that is I'm going to use as my sketch support so click on the text here and you can see here the line is selected you can type there anything you can see here my sketch is getting ready how you want to place it you can adjust it from here itself if you want you can keep it like this also and you can adjust here everything that I have explained in the sketch tutorials the link has given in the description box So just go with the okay now you see this is my sketch and come out from this so I'll go for this wrap features here right now it is asking for select a planar face and sketch I'll just select this sketch from the drop down menu and now see here it's asking for a face support face so I want to select this face now you see here we have here mainly three options the first one is emboss which will add some materials you can see here we have the option deboss and this is scribe so first I will start with this emboss so it will add little materials what is the thickness of that material that you can give here and here you have the pooling direction you can choose pooling direction also but I'm not going to choose the pooling direction if you don't choose it will just take the by default normal to the profile just I will give here value let it be one and just go with the ok now you can see here it has added the one mm material so the thickness that I have given here this in a similar way you can just edit this instead of this now I will go for the deboss and just go with the ok you can see here what is happening look at here generally this will have very less thickness and the last one you can see here which is scribe like this will work like a scriber in the workshop we have used the scriber to create a mark so here it will not remove material it will not add materials it will just create an impression of this text just go select this and go with the ok now you see here it has just created the same profile here this is the use of wrap features actually any tool is as good as you are using so I will just use this tool in different way so I will take a plane here already I have explained how to create a plane so I will choose their plane and I will take this as my first reference and this tangent surface just go with the ok so you can see here plane has created already I have explained that how to create the plane the video link has given in the description box select that plane and I will just take a sketch make it normal to the plane so in this plane I will just take a line click on this from here to here so like this now see I will go for the dimension and in the dimension I will give the value here pi d so 3.14 I am going to give here into d in the sense that 50 diameter that I have given just go with the ok now I want to create something and that I want to wrap along this cylindrical surface so that's the reason I have created this now you can see here 
your sketch is looking like this now i will just do here one thing i will take a sketch which is like this you can create a slot here i will just create a center point slot like this i'll just change the position little bit bring it little down so i'll go for the pattern here so in the pattern itself so go for the sketch pattern here i'm just going to choose the pattern for this give the number of instances like this just come out from the sketch so you can see i just let it be i'm not going to make it fully defined so go for the wrap features here i'll select this sketch and this surface and i'll be giving here the option there emboss and let it be the value here of one and just go with the okay now you see here what happens so you can create any features like this so guys hope you have enjoyed this tutorials do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get such type of more videos on solidworks and other cad software thanks for watching have a nice day and happy learning